And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. And I'm here at the trader, and yeah, walking up here, I had uh, about five minutes of footage, and it was, it was lost. My computer locked up. There's a snake over here. Oh, there's a deer over there. Yeah, I wish I could grab that animal hide, but I'm out of here. He's he's gonna close soon, so might as well might as well skedaddle. Check out the rest of this city over here. All right, yeah, all of the all of the devices that he had, the cement mixer, all of that stuff was all um, broken down and not not usable. You can see, yeah, this little area in here. Oh, the city's over here. Interesting. Yeah, it, it knows I went there, but uh, didn't uncover it. So that's unfortunate. So yeah, locking up in this game is becoming very troublesome. Looks like there might be a business on this side. Ooh, I actually have a battery. Where did I get the battery? It must have been one of the cars that dropped it. But, oh man, there's a zombie right in front of me. So I'm out of here. Okay, so I need to find a place to hold up for the night. I think. I think I want a place. Uh, grocery. I don't really need groceries right now. I am infected, but I know I've got some honey at home. So yeah, that'll be nice. Just need to find... Find a little place to call home. Because uh, we are a long ways. We are a long ways from home. Way over here. Don't think I can run that in two hours. Okay. But I've got the mechanical parts. Ooh, there's another deer over there. Maybe I'll do a little hunting. You never have too much meat. Are you going to stop right there? Darn it. A little bit of water. That would help. Got him. That 2x bonus. That's why I crouch before I attack. Because that 2x bonus is nice. Uh, yeah, that animal hide. I hate, I hate losing that animal hide. That's like 16 animal hide right there. They can go for go the... The flashlight. I can always get more flashlights. Kind of want a POI that I can get into, maybe get up on the top floor. So maybe that one right there. Because you know I'm going to get a wandering horde. You know at night I'm going to get one. And I'd like sort of a tough POI that I can get some sanctuary in. Although it could be said that it would be better to have something that they can they can go right through because then they don't linger they just continue continue traveling but yeah I'm not seeing any sort of like working stiffs or bookstore anything of that nature um, I'm just gonna keep going there's some other tall buildings over here that I can get to There's a lot of there's a lot of zombies in this biome. Holy cow, they're everywhere. Ninety-two degrees, so I might be able to take my I'm getting weird weird frame rate stutters now. I wasn't getting those before. 
springs. I'll take those. Sure. Whoa! 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 What the heck happened? Um. Okay. What? I can't move. I can't do anything. Um. Help the port. Um. DLE port offset. Let's do ten. 2010 and nothing okay what debug menu on I'm not sure what that debug menu is um uh... Do fifty. Okay, that does that doesn't seem to do anything. Twenty. Twenty. Uh. How? I just like fell through the, fell through the world. What? What do I do? Let's uh, exit out. Ah, oh, there it is. Um. Teleport. Whoa! Uh, ten, ten, teleport. Where am I? Whoa, okay. For some reason, I'm like, 10 miles from where I was. Uh, okay, so do like zero, zero. Uh, let's do like minus five, minus five. Now, where am I? I'm still over here. So, is this a POI? Oh, it's a military camp. I want to get back to where I was. Maybe if I uh, click, right click, no. Um. How do I, uh, minus 10, minus 10. It's, it's doing me like, um, uh, let's do minus 100, minus 100. So where am I now? Oh, I'm, so I need like 500, 500. There it is. Now I'm a little closer. Well, at least I'm a little closer now. And yeah, that was weird that uh, I fell right through the Oh, And that, dear friends, is why I have cheat mode on for a little weirdness like that. Because who knows what, you know, my computer crashing does to this poor game. I do know it's not a good thing. Who knows, you know, if I'm going to be able to make it back into town before the zombies come out to play. So I'm glad I, you know, was able to get a little closer. And there is a tent, which is not the best place to hide because, uh... to watch where I go. That's very similar to the POI. 
that I ran into over at the wasteland biome. So there's the trader that I was at. So I'm uh, relatively close-ish to where I was. Not not super duper close, but I'm running low on stamina because I've been running this whole time. So yeah, little I issues like that I'm sure are in part related to my my locking up issues. Uh, I would like to survive tonight because I've got some good loot on me. So I might have to just run my way towards this little shack right here and hold up there for the night. Hmm. Not the most ideal situation. It would be better if I could get up on the roof. Oh, there's already a zombie over here. There's somebody in there. This place is occupied. So I'm going to try to run this way. See if I can give everybody a wide berth. There's a barn. And I just happen to be right where the ladder is. Well, that's just great. I'm going to take the bottom rung out. There's a few occupants up here. What do you have on you? Water. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll drink that. I already got glass jars, so. Anybody up here? Did she fall? I think she fell. All right, well, trash compactor. What is a trash compactor doing up here? Scavenging went up. Okay, so the other thing that I wanna get is the concrete mixer. So I'm gonna have to spend my last 10 points on this bad boy. Because I, I definitely need that. So, let's do a little inventory management. Ooh. XP. Oh, then I miss. Then I miss on that side. So, if the zombies come in, or if a wandering horde comes by, uh, they should just wander on through. As long as they don't, you know, hit too many load-bearing load -bearing things, we shouldn't have too many problems. Uh, so with those class fragments, let's uh, let's repair this. And this uh, this uses leather to repair. I happen to have some leather, so I'm gonna repair that. And let's convert the rest of this to leather, so it frees up that spot. All right. Well, we will continue this uh, when when uh, when day breaks. So, I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Very uneventful night. Um, I've really expected there to be a wandering horde that would tear through this thing, but uh, apparently it it spawned while we were occupied doing things. So there still could be a wandering horde around here somewhere. I hear dogs. That terrifies me. Okay. I want to just... Walk slowly. 
So we'll see if we can actually make it through here and uh, run home. Uh, or if the town is going to swallow us again. Not sure why that's been happening. I mean, I walked through the town. That wasn't a problem. But for some reason, walking back, it must be, you know, I, I could hazard a guess. I could really hazard a guess. You know, walking here, spent about four minutes walking to the trader. And shortly after that is when I locked up. So the game didn't save that data properly. It would be weird, corrupted segments in in the data files. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try to make it through there. So I want to get home, and I want to craft up some stuff. And my stamina. Just look at the zombies around. Holy cow! There's another one over here. Really? Why are you going at an angle? Hello, beer seed. Don't need those. Okay. So, let's see if we can make it through here without uh, collapsing. Okay, this is where things got bad, right here. And it looks like it's still corrupted. See, that works, but none of this stuff works. So yeah, look, see that segment boundary right there? That segment right in there is fried. You can see the very edge of that POI. So something about that lockup corrupted that segment now. It's like this stuff is spawning back in. I want to be very, very careful though. It looks like that one's also fried right in there. So I got to be very, very careful coming through here. I'm not sure if that's fixable or not, or if I just have to figure out which region files to delete. But yeah, that... I would have fallen right through there again had I had I walked through that. Put me right back to square one. Okay, this is I ran through here. This is definitely on the way. I also want to get that infection cured up as soon as possible. All right. So I'm trying to run home, and usually. You know, usually I skip all this, but, uh, you know, there's some, there's been some interesting things happen when I usually end the episode <clears throat> and, whoa, just like that. Spawning Screamer Horde Zombie from Friendly Animals Forest. What the heck? Cannot cast from source type to destination type. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at that. That was weird. Friendly animals forest. Spotting. Ah. That's right. It's a horde of wild boars. That was weird. That shouldn't have been a screamer horde zombie. I'm gonna have to look at that. I'm gonna look at that XML again. It should not have happened. I don't know why that was a screamer. Maybe I messed something up. That's that was my fault. So uh, yeah, but it actually spawned. It spawned the boars, which was nice. But for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, I thought that they were screamers. 
and it was trying to make the <laughs> it was trying to make the boars uh, control the hordes like the screamer does. I don't know why it would try to spawn a screamer horde, but hmm, not sure what to do about that. Ooh, is that a cowboy? He might have some. Oh no, it's a mining utility worker. Goodbye. Mini bike seat. I'll take that. All right. Well, we got a boar horde. That was kind of cool. But I got to try to figure out why it was thinking that was a screamer horde. Um, wandering horde zombie. Yeah, see? Entity animal forest. But it was, it's trying to cast, trying to make that into a screamer horde? That was really weird. Not sure why I tried to do that. But I'm going to run the rest of the way home, or at least try to. And uh, we'll pick up the next episode from home. Uh, Alright, so that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.